want to say I told you so, now is your chance. I like to think I've got a bit more class than that. I'm sorry. But, truth be told, I was tempted. Thanks, anyway. What for? Still caring. Well, you know me. I can hold a grudge about as well as I can hold a tune. That's what happens now. Get some answers. Oh, heck. Well, this don't look good. Mm, might as well tell her. We know who tipped the bishop off. Who? Todd. You wouldn't. Oh, why am I kidding? Of course he'd pick him wood. When was the last time Alex saw his father? It's been over 20 years at least. Well, ready when you are. Uh, on second thoughts, maybe it's best if you just wait here. Nigel was never the most sociable of people. I'll be fine. Mm. Hello, Nigel. What do you want? Long time no see. There's a reason for that. Can I come in? I asked. What do you want? I'm here about Alex. There's nothing to discuss. You lost something? Ah, oh, Billy. You're a lifesaver. Where'd you find it? I didn't. Sean did. You left it in the rovers. It's all over the place today. Todd. You see, my mum really need to get hold of her. Yeah, I'm afraid that's gonna have to wait. You're not gonna answer that. It might be the bishop, Mr. Harrison. He must be on his way. I haven't got all night. You got somewhere to be, Billy. You trying to get shot on me? When he does get here, you let me do the talking, Billy. Absolutely. No, I mean it. I don't want you going off half-cocked. Harry, but you got the wrong impression of me. I despise violence. OK, try to remember that. Of course. If there was a choice between doing a lad or doing time, no contest. Well, you don't mean that. Don't I? Listen, it's one thing putting the frighteners on the kid, but what are you talking about, murder? If he talks, we do a couple of years for fraud. You make it sound like it's an inconvenience. It's better than the life sentence. That's one way to see it. It's the only way to see it. Come on, Vinny, we're in the same boat. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong. Pat, I know you think I've lost the plot, but when you owe money to the kind of people I owe it to, it gives you a certain clarity. People? Why didn't you say something before? Because it wasn't pertinent to our arrangement. I need a payday. Big one. So you better square things up with this jumped up little flower boy. Or I will. You had no right. I had every right. I mean, seriously, it should be your religion on trial here, not me. You have no understanding of my religion. Well, I know he doesn't want us to be together. Look, Billy, OK, if it hadn't been me, it would have been somebody else. And that's your justification for stabbing me in the back? I did what you couldn't do, so... Well, what you did was make me doubt myself, my congregation, my church. Oh, please. Your church couldn't give a toss about you. One phone call was all it took, Billy. One. And that must make you so proud. Billy, look, I'm not the enemy here. Yeah, next year we're telling me you acted out of love. But you need to set him free. You can't see this now, but down you the line... You think I'm free? You've turned my world inside out. Everything that gave my life purpose, anything that made sense is gone! We we still make sense. That hasn't changed, has it? Everything has changed. 
Because of you, I'm as lost as I was ten years ago. That's not true, because ten years ago, you didn't have me. I so wanted to hate you. I know, but that's not your style, is it? <laughs> eh? No. No, it's not. Pity is what I feel. Can we not, you know, say anything we're both gonna regret? You know, I always thought your... your lack of empathy was a defence mechanism. I thought that if I dug deep enough that I would find the real Todd. This is the real you. The real Todd in all his glory. So you're not going to give me a second chance? I mean, what would the big guy say, eh? He would say that I deserve better than you. Wonderful. That was risky. Worth it, though. Today was a one-off. You say that. I'm serious. OK, we'll have it your way. <laughs> Actually, it's probably for the best. The decor in your bedroom is a real passion killer. What's wrong with it? Oh, come on, Sharif. There's only so much pastel you can have. And what's with all the ornaments? Yasmin just like her knickknacks. I can't say. I've seen Turkish bazaars with less tat. What you call tat? She calls heirlooms. Mm, of course she does. But then she always did have peculiar taste. <laughs> Thanks for the ego boost. Oh, you know what I meant. Mm. You only have to look at the way she dresses. I think she dresses beautifully. Of course you do. Come on, Sharif. Just having a bit of fun. At your good friend's expense. Well, considering what we were doing not less than half an hour ago, don't you think you're being a little hypocritical? Absolutely. But it doesn't change the fact that I won't have you or anyone, mock my wife. Well, I'll try and remember that. Please make sure you do. Oh, sorry, we're closed. Oh. Oh, it's you. Evening. Peace offering? You've got a nerve. I'd like the chance to explain about the other night. Oh, please, Freddy, there's nothing to explain. I thought we were having a lovely romantic dinner, then it was, thank you, see you later. Look, I didn't run out because of you. I left because of her. Who? Oh. Angelica. Oh, please, I've no interest in her name. She's an old friend of my wife, and she was in the bistro last night. Oh, God, were you having an affair with her? No, nothing like that. No, while you were in the loo, she said some things to me. About Seda? Yeah, and Angelica always had a very sharp tongue in her head. And let's just say that last night, she didn't pull any punches. Anyway, I suddenly felt terrible, and I suppose I... I panicked. Oh. Why didn't you tell me? Because... I didn't know how to. Well, that was a complete disaster. At least you tried. And failed spectacularly. Should have been more assertive. You cannot force someone to care. Yeah, I know. Hello again. Hi. Hi. Um, just to let you know that uh, Pat and Vinnie are up to speed on Alex. Oh, well, I'm afraid that's looking like a non-starter now. Oh? Unless you can lower the reservation fee substantially. Um, when you say substantially? Five thousand. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I wish I could help. I tell you what, as it's early days, why don't we keep the reservation penciled in till the end of the week? Well, if you're sure it's no trouble. It's no trouble at all. Thanks. Bye. We're wasting our time. Give him another five. He said that ten minutes ago. He will be here. First facts. He's played us. Now we do it my way. Okay. 
Sorry I'm late, guys. I was unexpectedly delayed. Did you come on your own? No, no, there's a SWAT team waiting around the corner. Of course I came on my own. I think I stood you up? It's thought I'd occurred. Well, you're here now. Right off the bat, I want to say, on behalf of... Why don't we cut to the chase, yeah? TikTok and all that. I want in. I want in all the way. I'm not really feeling the love here, guys. Well, it's just a surprise and change of heart. Well, what can I say? I've missed the real me. We're supposed to just take your word? It's not very trusting your mate, is it? Trust is earned. I mean, try and see if my point of view, only yesterday, you reported us to the police. Yeah, and I came out of it looking like a right clown, didn't I? What, now you're just rolling over? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said anything about rolling over. We haven't discussed the terms yet. Terms? You discussed terms? News to me. My family are off limits, OK? No matter what happens, me mum and Jason are taken care of. Oh, what? Well, you'll find out just how annoying I can be. Well, we just kill you and take our chances. You'll have to forgive Vinny's sense of humour. Todd, you got a deal? Cool. So? Ripping off friends and neighbours, not a problem? Not me friends. And I've never been what you call neighbourly. In fact, if they're gullible enough to swallow your sales patter, deserve to be fleeced. Now, that's not very Christian. What's the boyfriend gonna say? No, doesn't matter what he says. He's not my boyfriend. Since when? Since he found out I'm a lying, manipulative creep. In other words, you're perfect salesman. What will he tell your mum? I'll think of something. So, are we good? We're good. OK. Best decision you've ever made. Well, even you've got to admit, this better than the alternative. Granted. But if this blows up in our face... It won't. It's in our pocket now. We'll see. You know, there's no instruction manual for mourning. <clears throat> yeah. Nice if there was one, though. That is the mechanic in you talking. Except it's a lot easier to rebuild an engine than it is a new life. Oh, Freddie. Just give it time. So, where does that leave us? <laughs> well, not sure. I'm afraid I've led you up the garden path. Oh, listen, firstly, nobody leads this lady anywhere, garden path or anywhere else. And secondly, Freddie, if you're not ready, you're not ready. But I might feel different in a week. There you go again with putting the clock on everything. You know, it's a typical man. So what's the answer? I... I don't want to lose you as a friend. Freddy, believe me, no chance of that. But... I don't think... That's all we should be. You're probably right. Hiya. Hi. Where's Roy? Upstairs making tea. Balancing the books, are we? Something like that. Where did you go? <sighs> Wild goose chase. I know the feeling. So, um, I've just bumped into Eileen out there and, well, I'm afraid they can't lower the deposit amount. You shouldn't have asked. She was fine about it. I don't need special treatment. 
Well, thanks for trying. A biscuit butt to this. Well, do you want some help? I'm OK. Well, two sets of eyes are better than one. <laughs> I don't need another set of eyes at the cafe. I need a miracle. Well, it's not like he ain't got form, is it? Look at all the stuff he's done to Jason and Eileen. Yeah, I'm very well aware of his shortcomings. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yes, Todd has lied. Yes, he's manipulated me, but... When he made that phone call, he wasn't acting out of malice. That's the vicar in you talking. Yeah, Sean's right. It's OK, you know, if you want to batter him. No, I, I know it sounds crazy, but he really believed he had my best interests at heart. Yeah, well, he ain't got both those in water. Todd ain't crazy. He's just... he's mixed up. Yeah, well, he's smart enough to let Sean take the blame, isn't he? Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry for blaming you, darling. I just got sucked in. It's all right, cock. You're not the first and you certainly won't be the last. Listen, I get all the forgiveness is divine malarkey, but at the end of the day, you are well rid of him. We both are. Mm. So you're going to go back to work now? I wish it was that straightforward. You're only on a sabbatical. Even so. Billy, you were stitched up. The bishop will understand. No, the bishop isn't the issue. But well, what is then? This is your vocation. Is it? I'm not so sure anymore. The church is never going to allow a vicar to cohabit with his or her partner. That's Todd talking again. No, look, what he did to me was wrong. But most of what he said, pretty much on the money. If I seemed hard on you earlier, I'm sorry. It's the guilt talking as much as anything. I'm the one who should be sorry. I didn't mean to be cruel. It's, uh, I just got carried away. I think we both did. I'm going for a workout. Be about an hour. Oh, only one hour. The young today. No stamina. Yeah, whatever. How was your afternoon off? Strangely liberating. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, not really. In fact, it was the exact opposite of fun. Oh. What's happened? Have you and Billy had a tiff? Oh, yeah, something like that. He's, uh, he's dumped me. You're kidding? No, it wasn't going to work anyway, was it? Oh, come to Auntie Tracy. No, Tracy, it's OK. No, it really no, Tracy, isn't. Tracy, just get off me and flip and listen. All right, Todd, chill. It's OK, cos I've... I realise I'm trying to be something that I'm not. Which is what? Decent, caring and unselfish. Well, look, Todd, you can only be yourself. And besides, it's not like you're a complete low-life scumbag. Oh, I appreciate the compliment. But we both know if that were really true, we wouldn't be mates. Oh, well, charming. <laughs> it's not a criticism. Oh, what, you could have fooled me. I just realised that certain people around here have a certain expectation of me. And who am I to disappoint him, right? Todd, you're not making any sense. Listen, why don't we go back to the house and have a drink and we can work this through? Tracy, there's nothing to work through. All right, suit yourself. Well, I'll see you in the morning then. Tracy, you won't. I'm sorry. Oh, I think I will. Tracy, I quit. <gasps> oh, you're hilarious. Todd, you can't just bail out on me. I'm sorry. Billy's having a full-on midlife crisis, and I mean, across the board. He'll bounce back. Yeah, well, just wait till I get my hands on Todd. But you could at least pretend to look interested. I am, babe. What have you got there, anyway? Oh, have a look for yourself. Oh, right, OK. Should I be worried? <laughs> I found these stuffed in one of the cabinets. What do you reckon? Mm, not my cup of tea, but... Not too conservative. Uh, excuse me. Don't hear you complaining come yeah. bedtime. They do look really familiar, though. Yeah? Do you know what? I'm sure not so long ago, Sinead and Alia did some kind of, um, sideline collection. With Carla's permission? Well, yeah, I assume so. Why? What are you thinking? I'm thinking these are better than OK. Mum, we need to talk. No. You need to listen. 
I was in the whirlpool when the police turned up. The whirlpool. I know, and I'm genuinely sorry. I'd like to say that I've never been so humiliated by you, but this is definitely in the top three. Look, I had a brain melt, all right? And it won't happen again. It better not. I swear. Because this is some kind of trick. Oh, Mum, Mum, give me a bit more credit. It's not a trick. There's no ulterior motive. I'm in the wrong. Plain and simple. Apology accepted. <sighs> Billy get you to do this? No, he's, um... He's got rid of me. What? Why? If you don't mind, I just I don't want to get into it now. Actually, I do mind, considering I'm the one that had to turf Sean out, and that's after I've watched you break his heart. Right, you don't need to kick off. He's apologised. Why would I kick off? Mm -hmm. I take it you've not told your mum yet? No, I've not been able to get a word in edgeways. Tell me what? After you, Todd. No, no. After you. Todd and I have come to an arrangement. What kind of arrangement? Well, Pat's offered me a job. So, as of now, I'm on the team. And the punchline? There isn't one. Is this for real? Well, I hope so. I've quit my job and Tracy's not an happy bunny. Yesterday, you were accusing Pat of all sorts. Yeah, I know. Look, Pat was never the problem. I was just... I was just projecting my doubts and my failings on him. I think splitting up with Billy's made me realise that. Every cloud. Well, what? Ever the reason it takes guts to admit when you're wrong, I'm proud of you. Well, you know, wait till I've sold a flat. <laughs> Not worried about that. All that matters is that we will be working together as a family. While well, in the process, making loads and loads of money. Well, the brand new series of Cold Feet is next. Jenny's moment of madness comes back to haunt her. And there's more new drama here on ITV this week. A thrilling conspiracy sees Robert Glenister and Leslie Sharp star in Paranoid. It starts on Thursday at 9 